Hey what's going on guys, Crazy here, welcome back to Marvel's Avengers and today we finally have a brand new update fix. It's called Patch 1.3.1 and it actually brings a number of very important fixes. Some of them are future fixes for like the progression bugs that we had. There's also some combat readjustments and the nerfs to a ton of the really really annoying enemies and attacks that you oftentimes encounter in combat. We have a brand new, let's just say compensation, it comes in the form of some really awesome Polycoron and some other upcoming changes and fixes that are gonna follow suit really really soon. So let's jump right into it and as always a thumbs up on this video would also be super awesome. But I do want to start things off with the fact that there's another batch of compensations and I mean well Crystal Dynamics has to run these around the clock given the fact that there's quite a number of issues with the game still. So you are going to get 250 Polycoron and 500 Uru if you log in the game right now and I think that's gonna happen if you you log in from today all the way up until the 1st of October up until 10 a.m. PDT. So as long as you log in even once you are going to get these and 250 Polycoron is gonna give you more than enough to upgrade a full on artifact and still have something left I believe. Don't don't quote me on this one I might be wrong on that one since I kind of forgot the full upgrade range. But right now the update is available on the PlayStation 4. The download should be about a half of gigabyte in size. Meanwhile for the Xbox one, the PC and the Stadia, it should follow sometimes a little bit later. Like it's the first time it ever happens like this for the PC to be the dead the last. Um, Xbox One is gonna get it at 9am PDT today. Meanwhile for the PC and the Stadia we don't really have a release time window but it is going to happen later today on the 24th of September. Now let's talk about some of the incoming fixes. We have a few for the reassemble campaign and the Avengers initiative. So there's various crash and stability fixes. There's a rare issue when selecting once an adventure that would cause the players to go into a wrong mission And finally the one that was keeping some mission chains from completing properly when all requirements are met So for example reigning supreme and there's a bunch of others in there that also happened And basically there was a workaround for this where you could go in and complete a different one And that would also progress you through the other ones that are stuck But what's most important is for the combat we have a bunch of combat changes that I think you're going to be really happy about because there is some fine tuning to some of the enemies in the game so there's various combat fixes including Captain America can now finally smash through doors yes Thank you so much, it was like one of the most requested features in the game and god knows there's so many of them still but I'm gonna take it, I can finally smash through doors so I can finally main him again and not worry about any of those puzzles. As far as fine tuning goes, they have improved responsiveness when entering sprint flight from jumping as Iron Man, they've also improved responsiveness for flight air hammer attacks as Thor, they've improved the reliability of Iron Man's thruster uppercut and they've improve the presentation of Captain America's sprinting block. Now an interesting one is for those really annoying spin enemies like the spin keeper standard attack, they reduced heroic drain and they also added an off screen attack indicator so now it's much easier to notice when that actually happens so I'm really glad for this. The only thing that they should add now is for them to drop additional heroic orbs so that they compensate for the fact that they kinda drain you a little bit too much but it remains to be seen in game how much they will drain you after the new update. Now I was talking about fine tuning some of these enemies and here it goes. Uh, there are some fine tunings to the Adapt Drones, to the Synthoids and the Keepers. So now they have added some new standard attacks to the Drones and the Keepers. I think that this is in regards to them spamming their special abilities way too often so they might also have just regular attacks that just deal a bit of damage and not always high damage. I'm not entirely sure but we will see that in game. And from this point on they have fixed a lot of the homing projectiles and attacks in the game. This includes some of the homing attacks that were happening way too frequently, so now they should happen less frequently because of the new update. And they also adjusted homing projectiles to be more balanced, though I'm not really sure what this means. Maybe it's damage, maybe it's speed, or a combination of these. They've also increased the global cooldown for all quantum homing projectile attacks, so I think in theory this means you won't be spammed anymore by a huge barrage 
charge of just incoming homing missiles. And of course, they've also adjusted the quantum shard projectiles, so they are no longer unblockable. And there it is, folks. I think that this single-handedly already fixes about half the problems that I had on the challenge 4, at least in terms of getting down the way too quickly. We do have some changes to gear challenges and rewards still. So there's various gear challenges and reward fixes and tuning coming in. So they have addressed an issue where refreshing a missing weekly mission would result in a crash. Weekly missions should now appear as intended, as in you shouldn't miss those anymore. And we've temporarily disabled refreshing incomplete challenges, so full functionality will be restored in the next update, hopefully 1.4 or 1.32, when uh, this should not cause any problems anymore. Another really high up on the list is the issue with the villain sectors not properly refreshing. I think that I speak for everybody when I'm saying that at least for the past couple of weeks I was not able to refresh them even once. Neither the one for the Inhuman Faction, neither the one for Shield. Like none of them worked for me at all. So hopefully now this is going to be addressed. They've also fixed additional issues that prevented daily requisitions from clearing as intended. I'm sure that many of you might have seen some of these being locked despite 24 hours already being passed. They've also granted players the iconic Iron Man outfit if they lost it to an outfit bug. They fixed a broken legendary reward that was incorrectly setting the power to level 1, which was, again, a major point of, let's just say, concern since update 1.30. They've addressed issues with how the insurmountable perk was being applied to gear drops, another one where some users would not be granted any rewards upon completing an elite heroic hive run. And I think that these two, the power level 1 and the elite heroic hive not giving anything, um, these these are already amazing. I hope they are fully 100% implemented because these are the reason why I'm not playing for like a day or two now. Guarded against a specific scenario that caused Kamala to lose a skill point, we are still investigating retroactive fixes. And finally, adjusted loot tables in Mega Hives to increase the chance of additional loot that will be awarded. And that is basically it. We also have some uh, platform specific fixes. So for the PC, they've addressed a rare bug that results in a player hero level being reset, usually following a multiplayer connection, so you might want to avoid that a little bit. And there's of course many upcoming changes and issues and workarounds, so I'm going to post a link down below to these patch notes that you can follow. But um, there's some upcoming changes including to the Warzone ping system that was teased during the beta, or well, let's just say talked about during the beta. This should follow in a future patch. A high contrast mode, a toggle option for hero icons to remain always visible, and finally a subtitle size option and of course uh, the workarounds over here at the bottom there's still quite a few problems in the game that need to be resolved and you can find some of these workarounds still so hopefully this is gonna fix everything for you guys or at the very least the overwhelming majority of the bugs that keep you from playing and hopefully from this patch on we can finally jump into new content see some of that Hawkeye it's almost like October so around the middle of October we should start seeing Hawkeye update and before that maybe a new war take maybe some new news, maybe some new information. I got some new information on Hawkeye by the way and some of the upcoming content but I want to drop it with a proper video sometimes in the following days or weeks. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video at any point, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.